Hello and welcome to the British Columbia Real Estate Association's housing market update for February 2020. BC home sales are off to a strong start in 2020, despite unusually snowy weather across the lower mainland. Total unit sales rose 23.7% year over year in January to 4,426 units. While most markets around BC were up year over year, a struggling BC forestry sector is having a clear impact on housing demand, particularly in the north and parts of Vancouver Island. MLS residential active listings in the province were down 12.6% to 25,790 units in January. Total inventory of homes for sale has declined more than 10% on a year-over-year -year basis the past three months as sales continue to outpace new listings activity. The province-wide sales to active listings ratio was 17% in January. The aggregate BC market is considered balanced when the sales to active listings ratio trends between 12 and 20% for several months. The current six-month average sales to active listings ratio of close to 20% puts the market solidly in a balanced range. However, market conditions can vary significantly between regions, communities, and individual neighborhoods, so contact your local realtor to identify market conditions in your area. The MLS average price for BC was up 9% on a year-over-year -year basis in January, reflecting both tighter market conditions and a recovery of sales in more expensive markets. The BC MLS average price now sits at just over $725,000. The MLS Home Price Composite Index, which measures the price of a typical home, declined 1.2% year-over-year in Vancouver and was up 0.3% in the Fraser Valley, 2.9% in Victoria, 3.5% in the Vancouver Island Board area, and 3.9% in the Okanagan Mainline Board area. Now let's take a look at market conditions around the province. That's it for this month's housing update. Hope to see you next time.